Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. So today you join me in the woods and we're looking for something macro to shoot. Now, if any of you follow my channel, you'll know that I shoot with a Canon 5D Mark IV and I've had a few problems with it of late and I'm looking to upgrade, but I've never shot with a mirrorless camera before. It's, it's all new to me, but luck be it, I've managed to get hold of a Canon R3. Now I'm gonna to get to use this to shoot some insects. Now I've, seen somewhere, I can't remember where I saw it to, but you can stack, I think it's 999 images with this bad boy. So that's what I want to do today. I want to stack, the... hello mate. Did you see my camera, Keith? Um, I think it was over, I think you had it over by, you were taking some photos by that tree over there, mate, I think. Yeah, no, I think it was over by that tree, just on your left there. Yeah, that's it, buddy. So let's get looking for something to take a photo with. So, so far, having a little walk around with this and taking a few images, I can tell you that so far, and don't tell the wife this one because it's looking like I want this camera. So at the moment, the few things that I've noticed just by, I've spent probably about half an hour, 45 minutes walking around with this. The viewfinder, obviously it's an electronic viewfinder, so it's much more clearer, it's brighter, it's easier to see what you're shooting at. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second thing is the actual eye control. So you've got a couple of buttons on the front here and you can control eye control with your actual iris. So wherever you look in the frame, it's gonna focus on that area. So which is fantastic for, there's an airplane coming over, I don't know how loud that is, but it's fantastic for moving insects. So if you're shooting an insect and you've got a fairly wide shot and it's moving through the frame, you can keep the focus on that insect rather than having to use your focus and recompose technique. You can just literally hold your camera still or move your camera around and focus with your eyes. So that is a fantastic feature. That That's probably gonna sell it for me if, if I do decide to buy one of these. Now, the other thing as well with this camera is it does have IBIS built into the body. So obviously it's in-body in stabilization, which again, another great feature, handheld macro, perfect. So, so far it's looking great. Mm, where's my head? Oh yeah, you can see me. So we've got a couple of wood lice here. So I want to try out the tracking feature. So it's got a different selection of things you can track. So you can track the cars, you can track animals and you can track people in this. Now I wanna see if the animals work for insects. So we've got a wood louse just on the move up here. I don't know if it shows well on here, but. So this is the back of the camera. So how well that shows up, I don't know. So I have to apologize. It's not the greatest scientific test for you to be following, but. So you can see the wood lice is here. So it's not picking that up at all. It's hunting completely. So I wonder if uh, we go to a close focus and then try again with just a close focal point. Okay, again, it's not tracking at all. So I just want to jump in here real quick. Just want to talk about the camera itself and the fact that the photos, well, the photos weren't great. The images weren't of the best quality, but that wasn't the point in this video. So for me, I wanted to just get my hands on a mirrorless camera, try it out and see whether I'm going to like it. Because a lot of the times upgrading different gear can be a bit of a learning curve. And I wanted to know whether it was something I wanted to put up with or whether I just want to stick with my 5D Mark IV. And Actually, after using the camera, it's quite intuitive. It's it's Canon, so it, all the menu systems are pretty much straightforward and the same sort of style as the 5D Mark IV. The overall quality of the camera, all the different things that it can do that my camera can't do, definitely makes it worth upgrading. Even though my images were terrible, I was just looking at the um, Woodlice photo and I think I'm on one six of a second shutter speed. I, don't, I have no idea why I was shooting on one six of a second, so that's why they're all blurry. Um, 
but generally I, I didn't I didn't have a long time to use it so I didn't know all the settings and I didn't know how to make the images good but the photo stacking even though it wasn't the greatest there is some different things you can do and try around you can play around on um, so you can change how often it changes the focus and little things like that that will make it a lot better so it will be something that I try out when I buy the camera so I could just get used to it but just straight off the bat, the feel and the use of the camera, I think is definitely going to be worth upgrading to. So that was the point in the video is for me, was just getting, you know, to see whether I like it or not. And, and it is something I like. I mean, this channel is not a technical channel. You don't see ever, you don't ever see me doing in-depth reviews on, you know, specifications and frame rates and all, all those different types of things. So, you know, it was never going to be one of those sorts of videos, but yeah. So back into the video, uh, just to wrap this up, um, that's why the images were blurry. So we've got a little fly on this rhododendron. We've got no light and I'm going to shoot this handheld 20 image stack. So let's see how this comes out once I've stacked it together. And I'll pop the image up on the screen when I've finished. So he's perfectly sideways for me at the moment. So let's see how that turns out. It's over there, mate. I saw it. Yeah, over there. Yeah. As luck be it, what a perfect specimen to test out this camera. So we've got a couple of little shrooms here. Just going to clear that stuff away make this worth taking a photo of. Now, I have come out unprepared. I don't have a flash with me, but there's a reason for that, is I want to test out the dynamic range of this camera and see how good it is with no flash, just using the natural light. And there isn't a lot of sunlight, as you can see. So it'll be a really good test to see what this camera can do compared to my 5D Mark IV. So I know the limitations to my camera and, if I'm going to upgrade, I want to upgrade for something that's going to give me a significant boost in my photography. And this is the perfect test. Right, so we're just about to take our shot and on this mushroom. I'm going to come from an angle just to take to get the full depth in. I've got a 20 stack. I've already taken a 50 stack and now I'm going to do a 20 stack because I just want to see what the difference is, how many images you actually need to get this stack in. Now, I've got no light, so it's not going to be the greatest of photos, but this is just for test purposes. The camera itself stacks really well, or it when it takes the images, it stacks really well, because obviously it's mirrorless. It doesn't have that clunk of the shutter opening and closing, so it's quite smooth, and the in-body in stabilization keeps it still quite well. So I'm quite pleased. I think this is going to be the only, the only downfall to this. Well, actually, let me just go on to this one quickly. It does have an articulating screen. So always good when you get down low. My Canon 5D Mark IV doesn't. I went from the 650D to the Mark IV and it, it was horrible. I couldn't, I, I have to get down on the floor now to take pictures unless I tether it to my phone, which is a bit of an effort. Um, so having the articulating screen is definitely a bonus, but that, the drawback to this, and I'm not sure, I need to check out the R5 because the R5, the batteries I think are slightly cheaper. I think these batteries for this are a hundred pound a pop and that is quite expensive. Plus that with the card on top, the card is 100, 150 plus pound just for one card. And using it professionally, it's fine if you've got lots of big jobs, if you're a big, big company, that's fine buying those and having that quality there and, and having that power and the cards. But if you're a small person, I'm just a small, um, so I'm a sole trader. No, I'm not, I'm a, yeah, I am a sole trader. Yeah, I'm a sole trader. Um, I get jobs in, sporadically i can't afford to chuck money at cards and batteries all day long it gets quite expensive so i want something that i know that i can afford so i may look into the r5 i don't know if they do a mark ii i think maybe a mark ii over this one just for that reason that's literally the only reason i would go over that is over is price so let's get this image taken i'll stack it and then i'll send it out 
I'll send it out. No, I'm not going to post it to you. I will um, pop it up on the screen. So let's just get the focus. When I get it in the shot, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to come out a little bit wider. I might actually focus down here. Well, that didn't sound like 20, did it? So I will pop that up on the screen. That sounded like a lot of photos, but I will pop that up on the screen. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. All right, so there you go. That's my introduction into the mirrorless world. And I think I really enjoyed it. I can actually think there's some really good features to that and it's going to improve my photography probably tenfold, if I'm perfectly honest. But whether I go for the R5 or the R3, it's probably going to go for R5 for price value. But either way, it's such a good camera. So, you know what I mean? In the bag all the time. You're joking? Yeah. Ah. Well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Well, thing on this uh, camera. Um, now, hold on. Go back, Colin. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Because it's not a review. What is it? It's not a review. Test. Here we go. Should we do that again? I think I swore then. I said bloody. Yeah, let's do it again. It's all right. I feel me swearing. Yes. Just as well we're not doing live. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Well, with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Okay, stop talking, Colin. The viewfinder on this. Oh, I am. That's right. I'm talking to camera. <laughs> you don't like things. Wow. That was crazy. That was all over the place. So I don't know whether that came out okay, but we're going to give it another go. Much to Colin's annoyment because he's got 50,000 photos to go through when he gets home. Hmm. So, stack of 20 photos there for this little fly, and I will pop that up on the screen. Let me know what you think of it in the comments for a 20 photo stack handheld with no light, considering we are, I mean. No, yeah, we've got no extra light. Shh. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> what a dipstick. <laughs> I'll stand here. <laughs>